All righty, it's two o'clock <laughs> in Aggie time. We would have been done already, so we'll we'll start this thing. Um, first, Zach, just uh, your thoughts on getting drafted yesterday? Yeah, um, obviously, just was really really exciting. Just a great time, um, just to watch, just kind of how everything unfolded, and I think just just the plan that was going and setting forward. I mean, I didn't know I was going to get picked by the Mariners until probably four or five picks before. And so everything just happened super fast. And, you know, I have my family and close friends uh, here at my house in uh, Dallas, Texas. So it was, uh, it was just surreal and still can't believe that it, it all, you know, all unfolded, unfolded how it did, but, you know, I'm super excited and super pumped to get started. Zach, obviously you started as a true freshman there and then conference play started and, kind of didn't – you had a hot start and then didn't get to carry that right. out and then struggled your sophomore year and uh, then went to the Cape and tore it up. And now this year you were on fire. Coach yeah. Childress, we've already talked to him, man. He actually said of, of all three that y'all got drafted, he's most proud of you for fighting through adversity, finding yourself, and then now look at you, your second-round pick, number 43 overall. Yes, sir. What do you think about that? How, how did you get through those struggles and how cool is it to see you fight through it and, and it pays off? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I was talking about this with my family yesterday, just all the adversity that I went through, you know, it was definitely a long and hard, hard fought road. I mean, I, I, I really worked hard and there was a lot that, you know, a lot of things that, you know, just given the opportunity that I, that I had to capitalize on a lot of that stuff. So I think just with the combination of the people that were kind of able to get me back on track, um, the, the guys that were there supporting me, I mean, my teammates, you know, the coaches, obviously, and just how – it's just crazy to me how baseball works sometimes, you know, you can always get the, the lowest of the low and the highest of the high, but I think just trying to find that middle ground is what's, is the key to success. And so, you know, I think uh, to some extent, I think that I have found, you know, j just some sort of, you know, consistency uh, within myself and within my, how I play the game. And so, um, but the other part is, you know, just having fun. I mean, I think there's a lot of people that tend to miss that part, especially when you're playing day in and day out, you tend to lose that that ability to have fun on the field when really that's the only thing you should ever be worried about when playing the game. You know, practice is where you kind of get everything kind of nailed down to, you know, how you want it to look. And then, you know, you just go out there in a real game and you just have fun with it. So that, that's the approach that I took this year. Take us through the uh, take us through the phone call from Seattle and your emotions. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, – I mean, I, uh, my advisors had called me and they, uh, you know, they were saying, you know, if there's just one guy on the board, um, if he goes, then, you know, I'm going to be Seattle's guy. And um, it was Dylan Dingler, the catcher. And so, you know, as soon as he went, he went to, I think, Detroit in that first pick in the second round. And as soon as he went, I mean, I started doing backflips up here upstairs and everyone else is downstairs. And me and my, and as soon as that happened, you know, uh, you know, they, they called me and they're like, you're a Seattle Mariner. I just, I lost it, man. It was it was a very emotional time, but you know, it was it was a it was an experience I'll never forget. So, what about your uh, other two Aggies getting drafted? Y'all made uh, program history, if you didn't know. Thanks to Thomas letting us in on that secret, but only yeah. program this year to have three of the top fifty picks, and also the quickest all three uh, three Aggies have gone in one draft. What's it like to be a part of history? I mean. I think that's just a testament to our, our program, our coaching staff, just the, the development that we've put forth into all of our guys. I mean, not, not just including myself, but just to everyone on the team. I mean, I truly do think that the way our program is going, there's going to be a lot of a lot of success coming in that near future. And I think just 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 with everything that we've done together, it's it's we've really built ourselves up on chemistry. You know, we were really connected uh, early this year. Obviously, got cut short, like you said. But, you know, there was just so many parts that just you know, fell right into place. And, you know, I think just – I always say this, but, you know, the process, you know, produces the results, right? And so, I think during that process, um, we were just able to, you know, have fun with it. We had success on the field as a team. And, you know, just, just given the opportunity, I think we – you know, me, Roa, and – uh, Asa Lacey, we were very fortunate to have that opportunity uh, to go play professional baseball. Zach, now that you've had a day to digest it, what is it like to know that one chapter is closing in your Aggie career, but but now you're headed to the Seattle Mariners organization? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, like I said, I still don't feel like it's real yet. Um, it hasn't really synced in a, a ton yet, but uh, 
No, it, it really is. It's, it's a happy feeling. It's exciting. It's new. Um, it's a new part of my journey. And, you know, I know that this is just the beginning. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping and, you know, praying that, you know, everything just kind of goes in, in the plan of God and that, you know, everything just kind of falls into place in what he thinks. So. How much of a bummer is it knowing that you guys got drafted and knowing what's still on the roster coming back that you didn't get to see this thing through this year? You already had 15 wins racked up and y'all were on quite quite a roll, especially for you personally. But just right. as your team, man, you get to see this thing through. Is that going to something you'll think about for a long time? Yeah, I mean, I, I truly did think that we were an Omaha caliber team this year. I mean, I, I really thought that just with our pitching depth, our hitting, I think we were on a roll uh, to begin the season, like you said. And there are just so many things that were going our way that I just felt like we couldn't be stopped. And so, yeah, I, I really did feel like this year was very special. I felt like just with all the energy, the new energy that we had uh, going for us, we just we were just able to, you know, like you like uh, we scored so many we scored so many runs. Uh, to begin the year, and that to me was just like, wow, like, okay, this is, you know, and then we just kept on going, kept on going, we ran into a little bit of a, of a stop there, but I think we learned from it, and, you know, coming off that that sweep against New Mexico State, I think we were ready to go into conference, and just to just for it to get shut down like that, I mean, who knows what would have happened, but if you were to ask me, I would have said that, you know, we're always competing for a national championship every year, and our coaches will tell you that as well, so that's, that's our end goal, and that will always be our goal, so... How do you handle this next step? But uh, how do you just kind of keep on, keep on, and keep working? And obviously, we know the getting from minors to the majors is no easy task. So yeah, how do you right. uh, how do you how do you approach this next step for you? You know, take it step by step, like you said. Um, you know, not not trying to get too far ahead of myself. Uh, making sure that you know I'm you know going through protocol. Obviously, you know every team's going to have their you know just certain things that they're going to be doing with all their draftees. So. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the process and getting started. Um, I actually have a Zoom call later this afternoon with the Seattle guys and all the draftees. So I'm, so that's a really exciting time. And you know, obviously, I, you know, we'll be back at A and M during the off season doing school and working out and you know ha having a good time with the guys in the locker room. So, how do you how does your game translate to the next level? Um, yeah, I, that's a good question. I, I think there's, I think there's a lot of positives that, you know, just a lot of confidence builders that I've had just going through everything. And, you know, with the season getting cut short, you know, I know that I haven't seen a live, you know, live pitch in, you know, five months or so. So <laughs> that's, that's going to be a little bit challenging, but I think just as far as getting back used to it, getting back on the field, I think it's going to be really exciting and, you know, I'm ready to get back out and compete. I think that competitive mindset and, just the confidence and the and the consistency. I think every all of it's there, and it still is there. And I'm you know I'm a new person because of it, so I'm I'm really excited. Any more questions for Zach? All righty, thank you, uh, Giggum. Thank you, Thomas. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, man. Thank Thanks. you, guys.